relax your mind Kick back and just unwind Don't let this moment overcome you Cause you need this vibe Music, it takes me there Places where I don't care I'm overflowing in this motion You can't help but stare Flowing like up and down Spinning around and round Back up and touch the ground I'm making but I can't sit down Moving from side to side Feel good cause I'm alive Don't you feel jealous Just get up and it's help me feel this vibe going on YouTube? It's your main man, Mr. Council, back with another one, Saturday Motivation. You know how we do. I chose Saturday because Saturday is the day that's uniquely your own. Most people work a nine to five, so by the time they get to Saturday, they feel it's necessary to take their foot off the gas. But most artists, creators, business minds know that Saturday is the day to put your foot on the gas and handle your business. How you doing, people? It's another exciting Saturday. I'm glad to be back at you again. This is episode 51. We're almost touching down to an entire year of consistency. Um, I couldn't be more proud in this moment. Um, it's been a long road. It's been a lot of work. It's been a lot of ups and downs. But I am just thankful to God to continue to be able to come at you and try to send you a word from the Most High. Um, I've had a lot going on this week. A lot swirling around in my mind. Um, trying to narrow down this topic. And a couple of days ago, um, something came to me that I wanted to really discuss this week. Um, a lot of times I watch motivation videos myself because that's where I draw a lot of my inspiration. Um, and it's just so necessary. A lot of times I always consider myself to be self-motivated, but I loved um, when I get inspiration from outside sources because it always teaches me something new. It opens up my mindset to something that maybe I possibly haven't thought of. But one thing I really want to hone in on is um, the fact that I'm a teacher. Um, I don't just want to provide pure motivation. Um, I want to be able to give people some of the things that I'm learning along my journey so they can try them in theirs. And I'm not saying that all of the things that work for me will work for you, but I feel like it's important to pass on the knowledge through your experiences. Oftentimes we do a lot of reading and a lot of studying about other people's experiences, but we don't take enough time to hone in and craft our own experiences and create our own messages through our experiences. And so that's what I want to do more of in this year, especially the coming upon this second year of me being at this motivation stuff on YouTube. So I want to talk about how to change your mindset. I watch videos all the time of people encouraging me to change my mindset and others. But a lot of times you don't have the steps to be able to do that. And a lot of times people think it's like a switch. Your mind is not like a switch. It can't just be turned off and on. It has to be trained just like a muscle. It's like a muscle like anything else in your body. If you go to the gym, you want to work on your arms, you have to do a different series of bicep workouts. If you want to improve your chest, um, it's a number of different exercises that you have to do repeatedly on a consistent basis to be able to get your chest and your body to look exactly the way you want it to. You have to understand that your mind works the same way. And so you can't just say, I want to have a good day. Um, you can't just flip it off like a switch. It's something that you have to train yourself to be able to do. And what I mean by that is I had an experience the other day. Um, and this is kind of why I want to make this point. It's like when you think that you have a mission to want to do something, you, you ask God for something, you pray for something. Like years ago, I prayed for patience. And when you pray for something, it's not the worst thing you could do, but a lot of times the worst experiences will happen because it's trying to test you and train you. So if you ask for patience, God is immediately going to throw obstacles in your way that require you to, ex you know, to express that patience or practice that patience. And see, a lot of times we start off like we want to do something. We have the greatest intentions of staying in that mindset. But the first time something happens, we give up. That happens so often. The first time something happens to us, we just give up. We're like, I knew it wasn't going to be different. 
And I remember, like, I used to always have the mindset that things bad were going to happen to me. And when you have that energy, it's natural. Like, when you say them words to yourself, I knew that was going to happen. That comes from a natural place. It comes from a natural place. And you have to understand that you have to change your outlook on things. So I was driving the other day. And I got frustrated. A lot of times I get frustrated when I'm driving Uber because it'll take me all over the place. It'll take me to places where I really don't want to be. And a lot of times when I say I don't want to go to that area, that's exactly the area it'll take me to because it takes me to backwoods areas. And then I have to work my way out of those areas. And so it just takes a long time and it throws off my route and it changes my mindset. It puts me in a real negative space. And what I've started to do is it's like God sends you certain places for particular reasons that you might not see at first, that you might not understand at first. And so instead of looking at it like I knew that was going to happen, you have to start to ask yourself the question, why did that happen? Like the first thing, when something happens that, that normally annoys you, you have to pause first, take a deep breath, and understand that the world is not attacking you. All right, This is a place where we're supposed to learn and grow and become the best versions of ourselves. So we have to understand that when something happens in the immediate moment, you cannot get upset. And that's hard to do. So I'm not saying that like that's something easy, but you have to begin to ask yourself the question, why did that happen? Why, did I, why am I here? And then you can ask yourself the question, or you can say to yourself, maybe God brought me this particular way for a reason. I might not know the reason right this moment, but if I give myself some time, the reason why he brought me here will be revealed to me if I just stay calm and I relax. Now, if you do that the first few times, it doesn't mean that something is going to come to you right away. You have to slowly discipline your mind to ask yourself those questions. So if something immediately that annoys you normally comes up, you take a breath, you pause. Why did this happen? Why did this happen? And then you have to ask yourself or make the statement to yourself, well, maybe God had something here meant for me that I didn't understand. And if you slowly start to do that, then good things will slowly begin to happen. Not right away. But you have to, every time that happens, you have to practice those questions to yourself. You have to pause. So something happens, you pause. Take a deep breath. Why did this happen? And then you have to think about the positive that you can make out of that situation. And eventually, if you do that over and over and over again, when those situations come up, you will begin to not react negatively. Your mind will be in a place where it's searching for good. See, we have to seek out good as much as we seek out negativity. And what we don't understand is we seek out negativity more than we seek out positivity. Think about it. Just think about your daily experiences. When things begin to happen so much, see, we oftentimes don't recognize the good and put as much energy when good things happen. Yeah, we might get happy for a moment, but we don't put as much energy into positivity as we put into negativity. Something bad happens. I knew that was going to happen. This happens all the time. And we get used to saying those things to ourselves over and over again. So our, we're training our mind to be in the mindset of negativity without even realizing it. It's something that we do unconsciously. And so you have to begin. That's why that pause when something happens is so important. You have to take a step back. And that's a different level of maturity that we all have to continue to try to get to. So when something goes wrong in your life, pause. Take a moment to breathe. Evaluate the situation. Why did this happen? Because see, sometimes God brings you to a place to protect you. He could bring you off the beaten path because he sees some trouble ahead. He might bring me to a different city that I don't want to be in to avoid me from getting into an accident in the city that I'm currently in. And I don't even know that. And so a lot of times God protects us from ourselves. He protects us from things that are going to happen ahead because we don't realize it. But we stay so stuck being negative and being frustrated. Frustration is probably one of the most powerful feelings that the human being can experience. But it's also one of the most powerful um, feelings that you can carry with you and continue to attract negativity. 
So you don't want to attract negativity. You want to attract positivity. It's some people that just have a positive nature to them. Some people that are smiling all the time and, and just have a joyous way about life. A lot of times people get upset at people like that. Why are you so happy? You always got a smile on his face. Always, it's because that person has a natural joy and zest for life. They enjoy living. Even if they might not be in the best living circumstances, they appreciate the fact that they're still alive and still breathing and still have something left to do. And that's what we have to understand. We have to keep ourselves trained to be in a positive mindset. Oftentimes, life is going to throw you curveballs and it's going to throw you negative negativity. But we have to recognize life does a lot of good for us as well. It's so many good things that happen to us. But see, what happens is we take the good things for granted. It's almost like we have a, a, a sense of arrogance. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to happen. Oh, that was supposed to happen. As opposed to how we dwell in the negativity when some things happen. You get so frustrated and so mad. But just think, next time you get frustrated, just think about how you feel in that moment. Think about how strong that feeling is when you get frustrated. Stop and think about it. Just stop and feel that energy, the power of that energy and negativity. It allows you to dwell. It can ruin your day. A lot of times when you dwell in negativity, one wrong experience, one bad experience could ruin your day. You could walk by somebody who has a negative attitude, somebody that you don't particularly like. You could have a good day. You got up early. You got your coffee. You got whatever it is to get you going. And then the wrong person crosses your path and gives you a dirty look says something that you don't like and what do you do i can't stand that person and then what happens the next negative experience comes on and it compounds then all of a sudden you're having a bad day when you were meant to have a good day but you allowed something a small experience that probably was 30 seconds to a minute you allowed that to control how you felt the rest of the day so then negativity continued to compound work seemed like it lasts forever something else at work or or at the gym or, or later on in life just happens to you and just um, keeps you in a frustrated space. You get home and your kids are upset or they're acting up and it just negativity continues to compound. Instead of when you say, if you pass by that person and they give you a negative look or have something negative to say and they bring that energy to you, instead of you thinking, oh, that person must be having a bad day and continue to block that negativity and push it back on them and then you just keep on moving like nothing else happened. See, we have to learn to focus. That's a learned behavior. We have to learn to focus on the positive. We have to learn to manifest positivity and people use that word manifest. I don't, I, I, I started hating that word because people use it so much. It's, it's not the word, it's the way people use it. See, people don't understand that manifesting something has to come from a natural energy inside of you. You can't fake it. You can't just ask over and over for the same thing. You have to put yourself in that natural mind state. And so until you practice putting yourself in a naturally positive mind state, things won't change. Your outlook on life won't change. Your outlook on life will be negative. You'll understand that, oh, you're in a job that you hate and you're going to have to deal with that for the next 20 years. You understand that um, you don't like your living situation, but you're going to have to deal with that for the next for the time being. Instead of putting all your energy into changing that situation, you want to dwell in it. See, we like to talk about our problems. We like to push our negativity on other people. When something happens to you, think about it. How many people can you wait to tell what bad happened to you so people could feel sorry for you and say something to comfort you? It's like we want attention. Anytime something bad happens, you want to tell any and everybody what's going on. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. And just focus on how to get yourself out of that negative situation instead of sitting in it and dwelling in it. And that's what we do too often. We dwell in negativity. And so if you want to truly change your mindset, you have to begin to train your mind and understand that your mind cannot just work on its own. If you allow it to run free on its own, it may, you never know where it's going to carry you. So you have to be in control of it. So if something bad happens, pause. Take a second to take it in. I don't care what it is, a car accident. Um, it could be something as bad as a death. You got to pause. You got to take a deep breath and take that blow. Take it real quick. You got to take it and hold on to it real quick and then ask yourself, 
why am I in this situation and what can I do to get out of it? What can I do to make it better? What can I do to make my circumstances the best in this moment instead of running the worst? So if I'm thinking like, um, if I'm driving in the city that I don't want to go to, let's say, let's say I'm downtown Bridgeport and, and, and say I don't want to get drugging in the deep back roads of Stratford. But then all of a sudden I get dug in the street back roads of Stratford. I have to say to myself, it must be a ride out here that God wants me to get that's going to bring me to a better place. And then if you do that enough, I, I, I start to do that myself. And then all of a sudden, I'll end up making more money than I thought I was going to make that day because I'm where God needed me to be. And see, I could say to myself, oh, man, I don't want to be in Stratford again. I don't want to be stuck out here again. Man, every time I come out here, it's the same thing. See, the energy that I bring into that, the powerful energy I bring into that negativity is just natural because it happens so much. This happens all the time, man. It gets on my nerves. See that natural energy, that natural anger? That's a natural feeling. And that's why negativity can manifest in that moment because it's a natural feeling. And until you train yourself in that moment to say, hold up, I'm out here for a reason. God got something special for me. A lot of times I'll be drug out to a place I didn't want to go to and then God will put a passenger in my car and that person will end up digging my music. And then I'll sit and talk to that person and they'll pass on my music to somebody else. That's why God needed me to pick up that passenger because he had something for me that I didn't realize. But because I was so focused on being negative, I couldn't even see that God was trying to bless me. You got to see when God is trying to bless you. See, we want God to bless us when we want him to. Yeah, that's not how he works. God ain't going to bless you when you want him to. He's going to bless you when he needs to. When you deserve it. And sometimes even when you don't deserve it. And that's why you got to thank him. Because you're still here to be blessed. Because somebody's not here to be blessed today. Somebody's not here to become the best version of themselves today. But you are. You have that privilege today, and too often we take it lightly. Stop taking your life lightly. Stop taking your experiences lightly. And stop dragging them down into a negative space. Bring your mind into positive energy. Start to ask yourself the positive in a situation. I remember Steve Harvey said, when you think you, that just one word could change your outlook. When I get up, I have to go to work today. I have to go to the gym today. I have to take care of my kids today. No, 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 no. If you change that word, have to get, I get to go to work today. Because somebody else don't have that, don't even have a job and can't make no money. I get to go to the gym today. I have the opportunity to get myself in a better health space. I get to love and, and take care of my children today. Because God has blessed me with them. And they have changed my life for the better. But see, until we start to think those type of thoughts, you can never manifest the things that you really need. So if you want to manifest things, you have to get yourself in a positive space. We manifest things all the time that we don't realize. We manifest negative occurrences. And it's because of the energy that we bring to those negative occurrences. So if I can motivate you today, if you want to change your mindset, exercise your mind. Pause when something negative happens. Start to ask yourself positive questions that have a positive outlook. Why is God putting me in this situation? What good can I take out of this situation? I remember in school, I hated school. That's why it's crazy that I'm a teacher because I hated school. I remember the days I used to stare at the clock waiting for class to end because I felt like it was a waste of my time. But then finally, when I, got, when I got into grad school, after I received my bachelor's in education, I got into grad school. And when I would go to class, I had a positive outlook. I was like, who can I meet today? What can I learn today? How can I contribute to the conversation and make the class go by a little bit faster and also get some insight at the same time? And then that's when school started to be a breeze because I was looking forward to the experience. See, if I'm naturally looking forward to the experience, something good can come out of it. But if you're naturally looking for something bad or expecting bad, you've actually manifested that negative experience. You brought that energy to it. 
So when you have to go on a new experience or a new adventure, think positive. What can I learn? Who can I meet? What can I see? How can I make an impact? And if you ask yourself those positive questions, then true positive things can begin to manifest. But those things have to come from a natural energy inside you. And until you change your mindset and exercise your mind to look for positive, negativity will continue to dwell in your life. We're making changes over here. We're coming up on a gear, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited. We're going to take things to a new level, but we're going to start to learn about solutions. We're going to start to talk about solutions in this space. We're not just going to keep talking fluff. You guys have to understand I'm a teacher, I'm an educator, and that's what I want to do in this space because somebody educated me, and so I want to pass that information forward, and God is educating me through my experiences. Stop looking to learn from somebody else's experiences all the time, and I know that sounds crazy because I'm asking you to do that in this moment for me, but for yourself, for yourself, Start to lean on your experiences because your walk is totally different from mine. Your um, purpose for being here is totally different than mine. And so you have to connect yourself with the Most High and ask Him for, for guidance. You can't always get your guidance from someone else. Yes, you can. I've gotten guidance from many people. But I've also gotten guidance from my experiences that God has put me through. All you have to do is open your mind to it. See, we open our mind to everything that we want. Food, clothes, money, cars. We open our mind to those things because those are the things that we desire. Open your mindset. Open your mindset to positive experiences that have to do with nothing material and see the impact that God can make in your life. <laughs> Motivate your minds and change your minds in 2022, ladies and gentlemen. I know I ran a little bit long today, but... I just had a lot to get out, and I hope uh, a lot of you can stay to the end. Make sure I'm going to leave the, um, the link to my album in the description, Better Man Chronicles. We still cranking it out. I'm still working on part two. I'm getting back in the studio with the great Tim Walsh this week. I'm so excited so I can continue my journey. But I'm telling you, you have to change your mindset. But remember, when something frustrating happens, pause, and then begin to ask yourself positive questions. Why is God putting you here? How can this be a benefit to you? How can you be a benefit to someone else? And if you begin to ask yourself those positive questions in those negative situations, I'm telling you, God will make changes. And it's not going to happen the first time. Don't give up because it don't happen the first, second, and third time. You have to make it a lifestyle change. So then all of a sudden, when something you thought negative was going to happen, you made it positive just because of the energy that you brought to it. Please understand that this day. If you can get anything from what I'm trying to say, please understand that your energy into a situation is more impactful than anything else that you can do. I'm going to go ahead and get off because I keep rambling and keep stumbling on, but that's my time, y'all. Peace to all my people that struggle. The sun came up, I'm waking up, freshing up for my day. I felt like something might be nothing touched my soul this day. Took off riding, felt like vibing to some other gay. Somehow excited, can't describe it how I felt that day. But now that nothing became something, cause she walked my way. My eyes got bigger, cause her figure let me know no games. The way her motion got me open, man, I can't explain. Am I supposed to cold approach you or just play it safe? She drives me crazy, oh that lady, she's got what I want. Mice and babies.